Lag is one of the biggest reasons why you can't get better at COD Mobile. Now, instead of spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a new device, or even just giving up on the game, I guarantee that if you do all of these seven things, your game will run a lot smoother. Now, the first and simplest method has to do with your settings. What you want to do is turn your graphics all the way down and turn off these additional settings as well. Then go and turn your frame rate up as high as you can. While this will make the game look worse, your frame rate will improve a ton. And we care about winning, not about making the game look pretty. Now on top of that, scroll to the bottom of the graphics page and you will find a setting called preload shaders. What this does is it will load all the maps beforehand so they don't have to load while you're in game. Now while this does increase RAM usage, it will help a lot with making your game run smoother. But our game doesn't just lag from our devices, it can also be from our internet. If you don't already know, bad internet will give you high ping, which is the time it takes for you to do something in game, send that information to the server, and then have the server respond and send information back to you. More ping means more lag and this is bad. However, there are a couple of things you can try. Start by playing in the same room as your Wi-Fi router so that signals have a shorter distance to travel and they won't have to travel through walls or other materials. Also, having multiple devices connected to your internet will slow it down, so try playing when there are less people connected to your Wi-Fi. But even with all of these tips combined, you may still be facing some lag. And that's why this next option is one of the best ways to make your gameplay smoother. Booster apps. Many phones come with their own built-in game booster, such as Samsung's Game Booster or OnePlus's Hyper Boost. But if your phone doesn't come with its own Game Booster app, or you feel like the Game Booster app on your phone isn't doing enough, then you can check the App Store or the Google Play Store or wherever you get your apps from and get a third-party Game Booster app. Download a couple of them and try them out, and then stick with the one that gives you the best performance. But even after your device performance and internet, there are still more things that will cause your game to lag. And the next one is storage space. When your device is close to running out of storage, it not only affects the performance of your games, but the performance of your entire device. If you notice that you have less than 15 to 20% of storage space left, I highly suggest looking through all your apps and games and deleting the ones that you don't use that often. Also, take a look through your photos and videos and either move them to a cloud storage such as iCloud Google Drive or Dropbox, or just start deleting some of them. On top of that, go into COD Mobile and click on the Download Manager button. Here you can delete any resources that you don't need. I recommend deleting any maps that you don't play on, and especially deleting as many weapon skins and operators as you can. Not only are they taking up space on your device, the textures and animations are slowing your game down. For reference, I play on an iPad with only 32 gigabytes of storage space, and I've had to delete almost every app, picture and video from my device. And on top of that, I only have the ranked maps and necessary textures downloaded in COD Mobile. Now I know the game won't look as great, but if you have to pick between cool skins and actually being able to run the game smoothly, I think you know what the better option is. Now this next tip is so insanely simple, and that is clearing your background apps. When you have apps running in the background, your phone has to multitask between every app that is running. And this means less performance for the app you want to run smoothly, which in this case is COD Mobile. So when you want to play some COD M, make sure to clear any apps that are running in the background, and this way your device can dedicate more resources to your game and make it run smoother. And as a bonus, it'll help save more battery life too. And on the topic of battery, that's actually another reason why your game could be running poorly. When you reach a certain battery percentage, your phone will reduce its performance in order to preserve its life. I notice this usually happens once the battery hits around 20%. Now when this happens, you may be tempted to plug in your charger and keep playing, but let me tell you, do not do this. Charging while playing will cause your device to heat up, and that brings us to my next point, which is overheating. When you keep playing for long periods of time, your device will begin to overheat. When this happens, something known as thermal throttling will occur. This is when the phone will drop its performance and use less power in order to cool itself down and prevent damage to the device. Every couple of games or every time your phone gets noticeably hot, you should get off the phone and take a break and turn off your phone to give it a chance to cool down. Back in the day when I had a really low-end phone, I would speed up this process by putting my phone on a bag of frozen vegetables or a bag of ice, or I would put my phone in the fridge. Now, there are ongoing debates about whether this is harmful to the phone or not, but in my experience, nothing bad has happened. What I will say is don't cool down your phone using anything wet, and if you are putting the phone against something cold or if you are putting it somewhere cold, just make sure to move the device to a room temperature place after a minute or so to prevent the phone 
alone from being damaged by moisture or cold temperatures. And after all of these methods, your game should finally be running as smooth as possible. But wait, do you remember how at the start of the video I was talking about settings? Did you know that there are a set list of settings that you need to turn on no matter what? Go click on this video to see what those settings are so you can turn them on right away.